I'm gonna show you how to add 3D to your website and build complex 3D interactions, and it's super simple and easy thanks to Webflow's brand new Spline feature. Let's get started. On Spline, you can head over to the Community tab, and there is an awesome digital pass here that we're gonna use, so I'm gonna remix this. I'll have a link to this down in the description. I'll just delete the sticker and add in my custom picture. After a few small tweaks, like setting auto zoom to yes, and then going to the export settings, going to play settings, and adjusting some things like no page scroll, no pan, no zoom. And then I've toggled on hover, just to give it a bit of hover effect, we're ready to go. And that's all we need to do in Spline. Here in Figma, I've created my design with the Figma plugin. So all I have to do is select the frame and copy to Webflow. In Webflow, we can select the body and Command V or Control V to paste that in. And with a few quick adjustments, we have our Webflow website. A lot easier than building it from scratch. Back over to Spline, we can go to Export. Under Code Export, you can go to Overview and the first link at the top, you can copy that to your clipboard. And in Webflow, we can delete our temporary image. We can go over to the plus to add a new element and look for spline scene. That inputs the default spline scene. Then we can hit settings and that pulls up the URL and we can paste that spline URL in and it loads up our scene. Let's give it a class of spline element. Then I'm just gonna reorganize it. I'm actually gonna drag it outside of our section. Then I'm gonna change its position to absolute. I'm gonna click this icon to fill it and then I'm gonna drag the left side over to about 42% just to nudge it back over to where we want it. Then let's go up and hit play. Then we have 3D on our Webflow website, super easy. Now let's add some interaction. With our spline element selected, I'm gonna to go to the interactions tab and select page trigger and page load. Here we need to create a new animation. So we'll hit start animation. To create a new one, we'll hit the plus and give it a name of load pass animation. Let's add a first action, so I'll hit the plus and we can go down to spline interactions. Then under object, you can click on anything from the spline scene. I'm gonna grab the pass parent element. With that selected, we have a number of options we can adjust. First, let's set its initial state by checking that box. We'll start with the Y rotation. I'm gonna drag it over until it rotates a few times. I'm setting mine to negative 4.8. Then we're gonna right click and duplicate that action and drag it up to the first action so we have another initial state to set. Since we created a duplicate, let's right click and reset the Y rotation, then go to the Y height value and drag it down until it's off the screen. Then back at the top, we'll hold shift and select both of the actions, right click and duplicate them. Now we're setting the end state. First, we'll start with a delay of one second so it doesn't happen immediately and the duration of two seconds. For the easing, I'll set it to out court. Then it's just a matter of selecting each of those new actions and setting their Y values back to zero. And finally, just save the interaction. And it really is that easy to create 3D interactions on the web with the spline feature from Webflow. Let me know your thoughts on this brand new feature in the comments below. That's it for this one. Here's some more videos I think you'll like. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.